Welcome to Muncie, Indiana, home of the Ball State Cardinals, and we're looking forward to this matchup, and certainly the fans are showing that they are as well. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a team from the MAC, the Ball State Cardinals. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Hurricanes will kick it away to start. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Ball State Cardinals offense will get the first swing of the game. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Uh, everybody feeds off of his energy, and the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable, Palmer. He's also one of those guys, if he gets in a good rhythm, watch out. This dude starts firing strikes. And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. They move the tight end all over. The give to the running back from the shotgun. The Cardinals get enough for the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman, getting to the running back cat-like quickness? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll ride Davis here. Well, they tried it again and got the same result. They'll get nothing and like it. Now they're looking at a third down. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Now facing a third and long. It's a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Cardinals will try to pin them back with the punt. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Hurricane offense will get its first crack at it now. First down here for the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. From the gun, the running back looking for room. How about the power there to get it across the 20 and up to the 21-yard line? Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. It's caught downfield. 
Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. And I like the throw. I like him understanding I'm getting man coverage. The sideline is my friend. I can't miss inside where that guy's chasing him. Throws it right on the corner route. Great job. Get a nice positive gain. The Canes have it with a first and 10. Gets it out quickly. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. And the Hurricanes are marching down the field. Back to throw, it's Ward. Got his man quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Martinez on the carry. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Canes! Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner is stopped. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. At the 35, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. The give to the tailback. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. 
Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Kelly. Throws to the wideout. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. The Cardinals send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown, everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll turn to Martinez. Fighting off the defender. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He finds his man. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Got him downfield. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. But you've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. And they did right there. And the Canes will have it first and 10. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Arroyo. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Now from inside the red zone. Unleashes one deep. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone, he makes those throws in his sleep. The incompletion brings up a second down. Scanning the field, it's Ward. Get a shot toward the end zone. Just threw that one way too far. And guys, if I'm on offense, I am staying aggressive. I know you didn't connect there, but make sure you keep testing this defense because even if you complete one of those throws, that could be the game-breaking play. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and 10. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it! And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. 
This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Miami! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. So an 82-yard drive there, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking downfield, it's Kelly. Gets it out fast. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. All kinds of running room. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Might as well try to punch them while they're reeling. You get one huge play to set it up. Now it's first and 10 inside the 40. Feeling some heat. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Cardinals! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Running with power. It's so runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half, maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Dropping back, it's Ward. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. And with just a few seconds remaining here in the first half, they'll try to kick a field goal. That is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys.
That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, what a scene there in Muncie. What a fine performance we've seen. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's head back to the guys at Schumann Stadium. And the Cardinals will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Going up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Arroyo. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. Dropping back, it's Ward. Floats it out in space. They make the stop. Not a whole lot of ground picked up there, and they'll have work to do to get the first down. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. On second down, they'll take to the air. Grabbed in the middle, it's Arroyo. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Listen, you you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Leaves it with the running back. Keeps the legs moving. And he'll go down, but he delivered the business end of his stiff arm to that defender on the way. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. And the Canes will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Really need to find a productive play this time on second and long. To the air, it's Ward. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. 
They'll run it in the red zone. It's Martinez. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. The lost yardage leaves him with second and 11. Running back searching for a hole. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll try to run for it. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. The Hurricanes trying to cash it in on first and goal. Slams it ahead. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be keying him too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricanes! If you want to know how to reach this guy, just send his mail to the end zone. That's where he lives. <laughs> he definitely is today. And I think the defense has to be getting a little sick and tired of the same guy beating him time and time again. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. This Hurricane defense has been an impenetrable wall all day, not moving an inch against these guys. And it's a complete effort, Reese. It's the front. It's the defensive line owning the work up front. It's the linebackers running. It's the secondary all working together, reminiscent of the 2001 Miami defense, under 10 points a game. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Dropping back, it's Kelly. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Open space at the 25. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. The Cardinals moving quickly to the line. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. 
You know, at this point of the game, guys, trailing the way they are late in the game, check down throws are not going to get it done. You have got to be more aggressive in the passing game, and you're going to have to just start taking shots. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They've got the weapons to stay aggressive. You just made a big play. Let's see if we can take a shot here into the end zone, score, and try to save as much time on the clock as we can. And the Cardinals have their offense in high gear. Trying to find his man on first down. Makes the catch. It's Presley. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And that was a nice throw by the QB. When you see that drag route coming across the field, how about putting the ball right on his numbers? Not high, not low, where he has to stop his momentum. Right on the numbers where he can catch it, keep running, and chew up some yards after the catch. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Makes the catch, and he will score! Touchdown, Cardinals! Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? And you can just feel that right now. It just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team, they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. On the ground trying to pull the plug on this clock. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Well, at this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, deep in their own end, they're going to want to run the football, no doubt. The defense knows that, and they're going to be trying to rip it out, seeing if they can get a takeaway to set up their offense in great field position. So ball security right here has got to be big. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. Martinez on the carry. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. They think there's room to run to the right here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Canes will line up to punt it away. Here's the return. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Second down coming up. Looking to throw, it's Kelly. Fires deep toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Ball State. Great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion.
On to attempt the try. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. This offense has a second down play. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Makes the grab on the right. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. One back in the backfield, he gets to carry. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. And the Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. Out of the gun, the running back has it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves into position to win. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And this to put them on top as we get close to closing time. It is good! 